Almost everyone knows that Google is an advertising company at heart. They may own and operate successful products like Gmail, Google Search, and YouTube, but the vast majority of their income is coming from ads. And with the push towards more online privacy for users, many companies that rely on these advertisements, Google included, have ended up losing revenue. So today I want to highlight a new portal that Google has launched which aims to give you more control over the types of personalized ads you see when using Google Search, Google Discover, YouTube, and more. You can find this new website by visiting myadcenter.google.com and making sure that you're logged into your main Google account. I'll be including this link in the video description below for those who just want a link to click. Now, if you do not have personalized ads enabled on your account, then the new portal is not going to show you much of anything. Remember, this is a way for you to help Google show you more relevant advertisements instead of just seeing the same generic ads over and over. So if you do not have personalized ads enabled, then you aren't going to be able to control these types of ads you see. However, once personalized ads are enabled, you will begin to see more details about the ads you've been shown. This is summarized and displayed here in the My Ads tab with the ability to remove specific topics that you have automatically been added to your account with the ability to remove specific topics that have been automatically added to your account based on your online activity or the topics that you have manually added yourself in the past. You'll even begin seeing specific brands that Google has determined you are interested in, which again is all based on your online activity. Lastly, this My Ads tab will display a list of the recent advertisements that you have seen while using any of Google's apps or websites. All three of these sections have ways to customize your ad viewing experience by manually adding brands or removing brands that you see showing up here. And you're gonna see the same with the topics and categories that you are interested in, while also giving you a way to tell Google if you don't want to see a specific ad type anymore. If we dive into the Customize Ads tab on this website, then you'll be shown some information in three different sections. First is the Topic section, which we just talked about, where you'll see all of the topics Google believes you are interested in. Right next to this is the Brands tab. And again, this will be populated with specific brands that you end up seeing in the ads due to your online web activity. And lastly, we have a sensitive tab for ad categories. And it's here that you'll be able to enable or disable specific ad categories for topics like alcohol, dating, gambling, weight loss, and more. The last tab in the My Google Ad Center Hub is a way for you to manage your private information. The data displayed here is another way Google tries to find the ads you are most likely to be interested in. But it's also personal information that you may or may not be willing to share with the company. Each of these bits of data can be customized to what you feel is appropriate. So if you're okay with the company knowing your age or your gender or anything like that, 
then having this information accurate and up to date will help Google find the types of ads you are more likely to be interested in. And I get it. Most of us hate seeing ads while we're using mobile apps or browsing the web. But advertisements are a way many people, myself included, are able to buy food and pay our bills while still being able to provide you with the content you enjoy. So if you're already going to be viewing ads online, then at least you can choose which topics you are most interested in so the ads can be relevant to things you actually enjoy.